Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Black Forest Demolitionist Suicidal. I'm not a huge fan of this map. Too much fog. Too much fog. Don't like the foggy maps. I like the bright, open, clear maps. We're gonna do the Pokemon thing. Not next week, but the week after. Because I keep forgetting about it. But I'm gonna make sure I get it for the week after. I got too much stuff going on right now to, to plan it out and, you know, like, vet all of the maps and make sure they're all decent oh my god how did i how did i miss an explosion when i'm point blank held facing it how do you do that how does one do that why am i st how how can you get there's just too much clutter in this map there's just too much clutter okay and i don't like it not a huge fan try it dude Try it. Like, how am I getting stuck on some things that are round? I don't get it. I don't. I just. I don't get it. And one of our D and D players is moving and stuff right now too, so that's kind of getting in the way of some things of scheduling. I mean, it's just so hard to schedule people all over the world, right? I'm just gonna use this because. That's what we do now. We're gunslingers now. And for these guys. Did 9 mil motors have like a damage bonus against these guys or something like that? So ultimately it's probably the best idea. But I don't know. I just like using this. I like the explosions. Like that lolly girl from, uh, what's the anime called? I can't remember. It's a funny one. It's just that time of year, right? You're coming up into August now. It's a busy time of year. August, September, everything, everything starts happening again. People are kind of off in July. But uh, August comes around and people start being alive again and having responsibilities and things to do. I want it to be January. Give me January. January's a nice slow month. Everybody's broke from Christmas. <laughs> so. They've all got free time because nobody's shopping and everybody's trying to save money so they're not really doing anything. And... Oh my god. I hate that it beheads them, but then that doesn't kill them. You can knock over trees? You what? That's sick. There are too many husks. Paying attention to dodging all of these is like... Rough. It's kind of cool that these trees can get knocked over though. Some of them anyway. Probably like this one. Goodness gracious. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? What was I even what was I even stuck on? Why couldn't I move backwards? I'm literally like so far away from the tree. Ah. Uh, let's go give that another try. Let's go give it another try. My god. I don't like this map. <laughs> yeah, I had this, uh, this beer last night. It was like a uh, Frambois Lambic beer. I still got the bottle here. And it's like a raspberry wine almost. Is, is how I would describe it. 
It's like it's like grape wine with like raspberry flavoring in it. Is 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 probably the closest estimation I could I could make of it. I don't know if that's what lambic beer basically is. If it's kind of like similar to to wine, um, but it was it was very similar in flavor, and then it also had like a cork in it. So I don't know. Kind of kind of felt like wine, but it says on the bottle beer. So I don't know. I normally get a like a raspberry ginger beer, but um. They didn't have any, so the girl there said, hey, we got this raspberry lambic beer. And I'm like, I don't know. Never had a lambic beer before. May as well give it a try. Probably won't like it, but why not, right? And it was actually, it was actually, it was okay. It's, uh, I would take a raspberry ginger beer over it 100% of the time. There will, there will never be a time when I'd be like, yeah, I would, I would rather have the lambic beer than the ginger beer, but that's more, uh, you know, because of how much I love the the ginger beer than it is because of how much I don't like the the lambic beer because it was quite good. It was uh, you can't you can't compare it to my baby the the ginger beer. The ginger beer is incomparable. The best drink known to mankind, in fact. Can I jump up that? No way I can. What are you talking about? This was kind of fun. I picked that up when I was out grocery shopping yesterday. I don't know. I went to the liquor store. I didn't go. I, don't, I normally go to the liquor store. I didn't get. Uh, I didn't get ID'd, which was uh, very unusual for me. I don't think that I look underage. Um, I think that I definitely look like an adult, but. Uh, in my experience, I, I, I've, I've generally gotten ID'd pretty much since I was legal. <laughs> Before then, nobody ever ID'd me for some reason. I was, I was free to do whatever I wanted. People generally treated me like an adult. I don't know, I feel like... Uh, I feel like it's maybe a cross between... Uh, them just being nice, and then me just passing as an adult as a child. I think there's 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 a mix of both in there. For uh, for why I was able to just like this stuff. God, I don't even know where a good kiting place is, and I just I hate these guys as the the demo. I hate them. I hate them. So much. And those guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure there are techniques for handling, you know, the the Edars or the the um, rioters that I just I don't know of. But maybe maybe once I have like level twenty or twenty five it might end up being a little bit easier, but Okay, we're just I'm dead again, hey? No. I've managed to escape. So let's see, what am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing for dinner today? It's 4.30, I gotta start working on dinner soon. I'm not sure. Probably stir fry of some kind. It's my guess. Stir fry is pretty easy dinner. I got some tofu I could use. God! Okay, that was amazing. Good job, me. I'm pretty proud of that performance there. Yeah, probably stir fry. Got some tofu, got veggies, I got some bean sprouts. Oh yeah, probably have a stir fry. Probably have a stir fry. Ah, medium firm tofu. It's been hard to find tofu, honestly. I don't really use tofu that much anyway, but it's been largely sold out lately. I'm assuming it's because of like distribution reasons with COVID. Um but it's been uh, it's been very hard to find lately so god no 
You also gotta just like spray it behind you, like just spray it. And then pay attention to where you're moving so you don't get stuck on stuff. Because it's so easy to get stuck on random junk in this map, I hate it. It's just too many trees, too many rocks. And they don't have, they have like bad hitboxes too, so you can like, get like, bugged into them and then you just, you can't move left or right, even though they should be round, so you shouldn't ever get stuck, but nobody really went through and made sure of that, so there's so many trees that just don't seem to work so well as being round things and you just you get stuck on them. That's, that's one of the things that's so annoying about this game is when you're up against like a wall or something. And you can't move left or right because the wall has like this tiny little bump in it that you're stuck on. That's like that's like the worst feeling. All right, let's see if we can take this guy out. What? How many shots is it gonna take? I thought I got pretty good headshots on you guys. So like if I walk up into this thing, nah, this one works pretty well, but then, yeah, it works pretty well. It's hard to find an example of it, you know? I don't know, there's, there's, sometimes you just, I want to be able to hold right and move, and sometimes it just doesn't work. I might make a, I don't know, I, I was talking about how I have so much stuff to do and thinking about making another series, but I might, I don't know, like a DM, like a DMing with tabletop simulator series kind of thing, how to set it up and make it work the way you want it to and, and get things working for your players, because I'm going to be setting up a, a brand new table from scratch for, for my players, and so that that could be pretty um, interesting to follow along with maybe if you if you're interested in DMing and I don't know at the very least it would probably be interesting to some people out there so I don't know maybe I might record it anyway when I'm setting it up just to, to be able to piece together stuff or, or do it first and then go back and explain how I do it and, and how each step kind of works and how I make things work and um, yeah I don't know we'll, we'll see I don't want to do any custom modeling though is the thing and that's that's what a lot of like custom tabletop simulator work is is, is modeling so you're in blender for a lot of it and then you just import the stuff add whatever scripts to make it do whatever you wanted it to do and then uh, you are you're basically good to go after that point you just you do the work in blender and then you're you just do the easy stuff in, uh, in tabletop simulator but I don't I don't I'm not a good modeler I'm not, I'm not good at art you know drawing like making visual representations of things it's not my strong suit I'm good at I'm good at uh, writing and uh, creating worlds and, and stuff like making the the stories and whatnot that that stuff I'm, I'm okay at but uh, once once it comes to art you well I guess writing is art but like I mean like visual art I'm not not so great at it I can tell what looks good sort of but I can't I can't make it look good myself you know that's not my strong suit <laughs> was that a bloat? Yeah, it was a bloat. I thought it was a scrake. I was going for a headshot. I don't think I got the headshot, but I thought it was a scrake. So uh, that's, that's what a lot of it is. So I'd have to, I don't know, find models and then import them myself and then go from that, maybe. I don't know. Could be done, though. It could be done. 
probably like import models from like games and stuff too if they're made in uh they're moddable. It's probably not too bad, right? Where are you? Where are you, buddy? See, the thing with the demo on this guy is I don't think I reload fast enough to be able to kill him while he's running away. So I think we're going to have to just accept that uh, we have to deal with the, the, the heals. I don't think I do enough damage in and up. Like, I do a lot of damage per hit. It's just not a lot of damage per, like, second. It's quite a bit of damage per minute. But per second is a, is a different thing. Wow, you don't take much damage from that as this uh, as demo, eh? Oh, you stupid clot. You stupid clot. Oh, this might work. This could maybe work. Nah, he's escaped. He's escaped. Definitely escaped. Kind of not a fun fight on uh, on demo, honestly. Oh, you stupid stalker. You stupid me not being able to aim. Come on. I think this is his last heal though, right? So after this we just have to take him out. It's not like a hard fight, it's just... It's, it's, it's not it's not fun. Patriarch is not fun if you have to out... if you have to last his heals. And like the trash... I mean, it's whatever. We can handle the trash. I got the ammunition to handle a couple of clots and gore fasts and stuff. That's no big deal. Oh goodness, he's right here. <laughs> this should be this should be the last stand here though, I believe. Oh my, that hurts. Okay, I can't just leave there, I guess. That's that's fun. Not a, not, not a hard fight. Not a hard fight. <laughs> kind of whiffed it at the end, but... <laughs> uh, we got something out of it, at least. Not a good something, but... What can you do, right? And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, the, like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.